Do you want to see rating gains as Mistweaver Monk? Well, you've come to the right place. Last week, a Skillcap member wanted advice on how to position and recover under pressure. So we hit up Mystical, who recently got Crimson Legend in Season 1, and is currently one of the highest rated Mistweavers in North America. So stay tuned as Mystical guides you step by step through an epic VOD review. And if you're wanting to learn more tips, be sure to check out our revamped Mistweaver course at skillcap.com. We worked alongside Mystical to develop brand new Master in Minutes guides, which teach you rank 1 level secrets in easy to follow steps. So if you want to learn everything you need to climb fast in season 2, be sure to check out skillcap.com right after this and learn more about our 400 rating gain guarantee. Visit the links below after the video to get started. Anyway, let's get into it. So we're playing against Fire Mage, Arms Warrior, Holy Pally, so ideally you're playing Disarm at least, uh, and Peace Weaver for, as your PvP talents. The last talent can be whatever you want it to be. Zen Focus T is probably good because you're playing with two melee, so the only person that can get kicked is you. Um, if you don't want to play Zen Focus T, Zen Spheres is also good. Just make sure you swap it depending on who you're queuing into. And I just want to note, I don't really comment on UI, but uh, details up here, I'd probably just close out of it just because it's kind of blocking the entire top left half of your screen so just keep that in mind but let's see what we got the kill target is probably gonna be the fire mage you want to go the fire mage because they have the i think it's flame cannon where if no one is within 15 yards they're going to have a 50 yard range on their spells and they can do damage so you want to make sure your team or someone at least is next to the fire mage um if if you possibly can um, it looks like we are playing Zen Sphere, so that's good. I like we're playing, so we're playing Zen Spheres, which is good. Um, just make sure we do get DB Poly here. A little bit unfortunate. There's nothing you can really do in this situation because your team <laughs> is pushed up. I see an in cap on the Holy Pally. It looks like we want to kill the Warrior. Um, I'm hoping that they swapped your the the Fire Mage after this. This is a combustion proc into a real combustion here. So there's a few ways we can kind of respond to this. I'm hoping. If it was me, I would be hoping that your Windwalker, Karma's, Diffuse Magic, four any of the four defensive cooldowns he has here, I'm hoping he presses it. Um, if not, it's gonna probably have to be a Trinket Revival, but or, or Restoral, but I'm, I'm hoping that your Windwalker responds with Karma. Good. I'm not gonna lie, Karma might not be enough. We're hoping, I would, if I was the Windwalker, I would use Diffuse Magic and Karma in this situation. But we'll see. Um, they do. Polly is broken. You get, do get feared as well. So that's kind of good. Um, Stormbolt on your Windwalker. I don't see the Pally might be pushing in for a Hodge here because they have it. That's also Sack. So in, right now, we're, I, what I would do is I would go for a Yulon um, and go for a Thunder Focus T and Velping Mist to get Hots on your Windwalker. I don't see a port down for the Windwalker as well. This might be theirs. Um, but. Either way, it's looking, it, you want to get some pre-hots going. So I would use a Yulon into Thunder Focus T enveloping here. Um, you also have an Instant Vivify as well. So Instant Vivify is really good. Really good to get hots out, get a Renewing Mist as well. <clears throat> we do have Thunder Focus T active. So I would throw an Enveloping Mist on your Windwalker. Hopefully they have a port. Um, we also, if, we ha if we're if we playing Disarm, which I don't know if we are. Uh, Disarm on the Warrior is also really good because this is Avatar. And they uh, it doesn't look like they have Trinket, but they probably do because... It's just weird, but I would disarm, hopefully, the warrior before this Hodge on me. Um, but we are playing Restore, all right? So, um, Restore might be good during this Hodge. Uh, port, we try to port it. Um, we port back, which is fine. It's a little unfortunate. Your Windwalker just pressed every single defensive button that he has. So, hopefully, <laughs> he shouldn't be dying right now. So, this will give you time to recover. But just keep in mind, be careful. The mage can potentially CS you. Uh, they are using shifting power, so li it's likely that they're not. Blinding light is perfect. It's fine. Triple DR, fear, that's good. We are mostly care about the polys right now, and we're trying to... We, we want to get Renewing Mist out as much as possible. So we have an instant Vivify right here, which is good. We are playing Zen Spheres, so I would definitely put a Zen Sphere out on the Windwalker. I would get an instant Vivify and Renewing Mist as well. Because you, you always want your hot rolling. You always want your Renewing Mist going out uh, on as many people as possible. Because your Vivify, again, heals whoever has Vivify and then anyone else. Or whoever has Renewing Mist and then everyone else who has them. So get Renewing Mist out. Get your Zen Sphere out. Give them the, the bonus healing from the Zen Spheres. And then just start using the instant healing. Um, we are Night Elf as well. So if I see a Poly coming in hot here, this looks like a Polymorph. Let me just go back real quick here. Report. Mages over here. So this is the issue with the details. I actually 
having a hard time seeing where the mage... Okay, mage is here. Shifting power. Blinding light is fine. Mage is all the way over here. Again, we probably want somebody near the mage just because of the range. Uh, he's trying to poly somebody, but it's really far away. So this is good. Really good positioning right now. I, I don't mind this positioning at all. Actually, you're very far away from the mage, and that's your goal. Because the warrior doesn't have any ranged kicks. The only person with a kick is the mage. Um, and the pally just shrink into the stun. So... Again, the mate, the pally is going to struggle to get to you if you can in-cap when they're pushing in. And just stay very far from the mage. Uh, be careful of CS here. We do good. We have renewing mist on the windwalker, renewing mist on the on the rep pally. And we're just healing right now, which is beautiful. Really, really good here. <clears throat> Great in-cap. Blinding light on the pally as well. That's full. Maybe a leg sweep off, potentially, um, if we want to. Because we just got a trinket from your windwalker. So your windwalker just trinketed. We do have Shaylin's Gift and Cocoon. So that's really good. Those are really good cooldowns to have. Shaylin's Gift, if you can get, if the mage kicks, or if you juke him, or if the mage kicks something random, you can get a nice Shaylin's Gift heal. You also have Cocoon. So you might have to pre-Cocoon a CC chain on you, but we are playing Eminence. So we did move around. Make sure that you reset your port wherever you go around the map. So we just moved from the other side of the map to this pillar. Ideally, what I would have done at around uh, here, uh, just throw a port down. Oh, never mind. I didn't see it. You are doing fantastic. All right, good. That port is really, it's going to be really important because the mal the pally is playing blinding light. So if the pally hodges you after this blinding light and the mage tries to go for a poly, you can pour it out. And that's what we're hoping to see. Nice drop to get the pally away. CS on you. Again, it very, very um important to try to not get, we do have cocoon though. Beautiful cocoon. Great poly. Good, good. All right, this is really good. Really, really, really good. Um, and now there's no kick from the mage here. I would go for maybe a Shaylin's Gift as well because you do, you are going to get a buff. I forget which buff this is. Um, this might be the uh, fear, but um, it, th what you want from Shaylin's Gift is the buff, but also the heal is really good. So um, put, uh, mage has no kick. Mage is going for a Ring of Frost on themselves to peel. So this is good. The mage is preoccupied. Go for a Shaylin's Gift to heal your pally. You get a decent buff. You also have Thunder Focus TD heal as well if you uh, you know, if you want to go for extra healing. Good kick on the Polymorph from the Rep Pally. So the mage is just going to cast Fireballs. That's fine. And the biggest issue... Well, the one good thing is that they're, healing, they're hitting your Rep Pally right now. And they the Rep Pally has Bubble. The issue right now is if they try to go your Windwalker. Because I don't think the Windwalker has Port. Um, I don't, yeah, that's, that's, that's a major thing right now is if they hit your Windwalker with combustion, it's going to be trouble, but the Rep Pally bubbled or the Holy Pally bubbled. So that's really good. Uh, they're going to be susceptible to CC. You can go for an in cap soon. We also have Yulon coming back too. So, you know, we're looking for some kind of Yulon again. We're, we're getting a little bit late in it to happening. Your mana is looking pretty decent. So I would immediately start pre-hotting, especially since this pot, this uh, mage is going for a polymorph. It might be on you. Good lining it. No, it's on the ret. Try to dispel when you can. Um, the ret pally. Yeah, try to try to dispel just uh, just a little bit sooner. But we, this is combustion. This is a real combustion. So uh, Yulon and Thunder Focus T and Velpy Mist would probably be my first reaction. If we don't have that, it you gotta just heal. Um, this is good. Oh, unfortunately, the Windwalker launch. This is okay. Good. I think that was lay on hands from the pally. That was really good. That was really good uh, help from the your rep pally there. So we're doing a good job here. We still have Yulon. We have Restoral. So we should be able to be fine. The next time we have Karma coming back, we get kicked. Karma. Hope I'm, oh, no Karma. We also get kicked. So I think this was this game was looking fine, in my opinion. Uh, you did get kicked twice. In, in solo shuffle, getting kicked is... is I mean, it's bad to get kicked in arena normally but in solo shuffle it's really bad because you fall behind very quickly so what you can do when you get kicked is well first of all let's we'll talk about pvp talents the first pvp talent i would have done would have played would be zen focus t you're the only person on your team that can get kicked so zen focus t guarantees you you know five seconds of healing which is really important for misweavers because you only need about three or four seconds to top somebody uh, that's the first one. So Zen Focus T, Restoral is really good because versus Holy Pallies, they have Blinding Light or Repentance. So that's really good. And then the third one, you could just drop Zen Spheres if you really wanted to and go Disarm. You know, Zen Spheres is a nice to have, but in situations like this where you, normally you can out mana the Holy Pally or like out Dampen, you, you, the extra damage is good, but it's not really necessary. Plus, Windwalkers and Rets have pretty, you know, they have pretty good damage. You know, normally they don't need the extra damage to get a kill. Uh, so I would definitely go disarm for the warrior, peace weaver for when you're hodged, you know, or storm bolted, and then Zen Focus T just because um, it's or peace weaver Zen Focus T 
and disarm because the Peace Weaver is good for the combustion. Again, really good. And it's just unfortunate. You're, I don't think your Windwalker... Your Windwalker also didn't have port down. So that's another issue right there. But we did have Yulon. So one thing I definitely would have done is... I, if I see that my Windwalker is starting to struggle and, you know, the mage gets, you know, kicked and using burst cooldowns, Yulon is definitely my first go-to, but we also have Restore. We do get kicked. So one last thing here, just to note, um, if you're that close to a cooldown, I normally try not to risk it. So, you know, try to get your... Make sure you get your always have your renewing mist rolling on your on your teammates. You know, always have a recharge um, of renewing mist going at once uh, at all at all times. Um, but I also wouldn't risk it. Good Yulon here. This is a really good Yulon. But P Peace Weaver is literally in two seconds. The the mage is kicked. You know, the warrior is over here. So I wouldn't risk. It's literally like half a second. You're half a second away from just being able to press Restoro and <clears throat> probably stabilizing because the mage damage is, is not going to even, not even going to happen, right? So, um, like you're so close to having Restoro still, and then we get kicked. So, um, <clears throat> in situations like this, try your best to just kind of use your Renewing Mist to get some instant healing out because with your Mastery, you're going to have a nice little um, initial heal with your renewing mist plus the hots can be rolling so that's good and then use your storo and then you can kind of once you're stabilized then you can get kicked when your team is at high health that way you know the kick is kind of wasted um if your teammate was also a little higher and you got kicked you could also disarm the warrior so if you ever find yourself in a situation where you get kicked and your teammate you know isn't dying or isn't you know about to die you can still disarm the warrior to stop damage maybe go for an in-cap on the mage as well it just so happened that we got kicked and unfortunately when walker is really low but they did have karma so that's a little unfortunate but overall yeah it just came down to getting kicked because we're not running zen focus t um save disarm for when you get kicked and then try to position to wherever your team goes and then you should be fine so we're playing fire mage arms warrior versus windwalker rep Halley. in in my experience uh, hitting the Windwalker is really good. When you hit the Windwalker, uh, the Windwalkers, they have good burst damage, but outside of the burst damage, they don't have a whole lot going on. So if you hit them and you force them to port away and run away, you're going to you're gonna be fine. You're going to be good because you have cooldowns by the time they have to come back. Uh, one major thing, I normally save my Life Cocoon for Serenity versus Windwalkers, and then I save my Restoral for Red Pally damage just because Red Pallies have a lot of magic damage, and Windwalker Serenity is pretty um it's kind of random when they crit but you want to make sure you know it's you know they're safe so uh, immediately we got a port down which is good we have a statue that's really good we put zen sphere on the on the warrior which is really good so they're going to get the bonus healing fantastic uh, they're likely going to hit your fire mage so just be ready to swap that but for right now we're looking good positioning wise it looks like your mage is trying to go for a dv sheep on the holy pally and then hopefully we're going to hit the Windwalker. Uh, we CS the Holy Pally, which is beautiful. That's Serenity on from the Windwalker. So you're not in any CC right now. So we don't have to press anything. Uh, one thing also note is they have no range kicks. Nothing. They Their CC is in cap or paralysis. And they have Hodge, Hammer of Justice. So those are two CCs. They have to run at you to get it. So make them work for it. If they start to run at you, please use Rop. Also, a good way to use ROP is if they're trying to run away from, from your Fire Mage right now. If you see, if you're ever in this situation where your Fire Mage is just not taking any damage, not in any danger, and they're using a the burst, yeah, I would just maybe ROP the pillar. But again, it's fine. You could use ROP to, or Ring a Piece to prevent them from getting to your Fire Mage because you want to give them that Flame Cannon buff. But it looks like they want to hit your Warriors. So that's good. So immediately, again, dispel this Hodge as fast as you can. Uh, I think that might have been Trinket. I think it was. And then you want to get Renewing Mist out. I we didn't life cocoon that's the most important thing that's another really really important thing from solo shuffle or in solo shuffle is you don't want to overlap so really really good work here your warrior parried i think your warrior used human or trinket and we stabilized so that's good that's also karma from the windwalker so we're looking really good right now wings is falling from the the rep pally here so overall we're doing a pretty good job the blinding light on you is is a little trouble trinket cocoon and ice block again nothing i mean not much we can do about that about that overlap it's okay i'm trying to see if there's a time with fi when i play with a class with like a fire mage or a holy pally that have immunities i normally trinket cocoon first the reason for this is because the later in dampening you go 
the stronger that cooldown becomes, right? If you're if you're an 80% dampening, sure, you might not be able to heal through the dampening, but if your mage has ice block and can, and can um, immune all damage, or if your pally has bubble and can immune everything, it's so powerful because teams either won't even swap to them or you just, you know, you don't even have to heal them. So normally when I play with a fire mage or any mage, any rep pally, anything like that, I will trinket cocoon first to prevent an overlap and to hold that their ice block, especially fire mage, because they only have one ice block and their cauterize, I mean, it's good, but it's not the greatest. Um, so yeah, we do we do have a little bit of overlap there, which is okay. Um, we do have Zen Sphere going on the rep pally, which is good. We still have Zen Sphere on the warrior. You do, you're doing a great job of keeping your Zen Sphere up on your warrior. Fantastic job. Um, doing a great job there. Keeping our Renewing Mist up. Make sure you put Renewing Mist on the mage too, though. Just, you know, there's cleave. You know, they're going to get cleaved. If they're on your mage, they're going to hit your warrior and your mage at the same time. Fort Brew from the Windwalker there. Storm Bolt. Trinket on the Holy Pally, which is really good here. And yeah, we want to hit the Windwalker, I would say, uh, is the most important thing. Zen Sphere again, we be careful. We do get a nice revival there. That's a really good revival. Really, really good revival before the CC. Very, very good. Um, your mage now saves their cauterize, which is insane. And we're hoping when I, if I'm in this situation, I'm really hoping that the mage sees. I mean, he's trinket. I mean, he's stunned, but I'm hoping for a trinket altar time here. Yes, good trinket. Looking for an altar here from the mage, which would be a, a fantastic kick from the mage. We also have Yulon as well. Oh, if we could save that cauterize to be so good beautiful oh that's that's really really good kick from the front kick from the rep pally again uh that's okay um not much i mean we're, we were kind of just in the middle of healing right uh, i would also go for like a yulon but actually not here this is this is good by you to to heal right here but i one combination i normally do is i'll yulon into a thunder focus t enveloping mist and that is a ton of instant healing. So if you see your mage kind of struggling a little bit, or if you see that CC is about to come up or you're off DR, I would immediately go for a Thunder Focus, a Yulon Thunder Focus T. Big healing, big hot. You should be able, you should be able to keep your team alive while you're in crowd control during that. Um, beautiful, beautiful Thunder Focus T here. Amazing. Yeah, Windwalker is absolutely the play. Great CS from your mage. Great job by you to. Keep your mage alive, preserving that cauterize. I want that that revival right here uh, absolutely won you the game. This this right here, I, I know it doesn't seem like much, but this was an extremely clutch revival here because you have no trinket right now. Boom, beautiful. You have no trinket. Uh, if you don't if you don't get this revival, the mage doesn't have alter time. Your mage have to cauterize. They're gonna be dying while you're CC'd. Fantastic job here. Fan really really good work. Um, not much else i would do one thing i would note just for uh future if you ever do get kicked like in any situation if you get kicked instantly in cap something instantly so for example your team is hitting the windwalker right now you get kicked instantly in cap the rep pally that will stop a literally uh, so much damage so that, that'll help your mage you know not take as much damage it'll help you because you don't have to use as ma much mana because your teammates aren't taking as much damage so it's really good for when in situations where you get kicked in cap something disarm something if something if you're running disarm uh, but overall yeah a really good game really really good job um great job keep your mage alive it's fire mage rep pally versus windwalker arms warrior so yeah, I, li I like I like where your Omni Bar is. It looks like we were testing the interrupts. Really, I like I like where your Omni Bar is. I would keep it right there. It's beautiful, and we are looking at. I would say you want to hit the mage. I think the mage again, very important kill target. Again, I I would very I would highly recommend playing Zen Focus T. You are the only person. Whenever I'm thinking about playing Zen Focus T or not, I think who else on my team can get kicked is what I'm thinking, and you <laughs> you are the only person that can get kicked. So. You're going to be eating a lot of kicks from the mage. Even, you know, rep pallies have kicks if you're close to them. So keep it, keep that in mind. I would play Zen Focus T, Peace we reverse this. And then the third one could be a little tricky. You could play Eminence to prevent them from swapping to you and you dying in a Hodge. And if, you know, avoid Hodge rep or Hodge um, Blinding Light. You could play Disarm for the rep pally if you get kicked. Um, you could play Zen Spheres. So a, a lot of good options for the third talent, but I would definitely play... Zen Focus T, Peace Weaver. Those are the two I would definitely mandatory versus something like this. Pretty much versus any mage. Good um, good Zen, Zen Sphere here on the Warrior. Very good job. And yeah, kill targets mage. So again, the mage does the classic DB into sheep here, which is fine. That's that's good. We're going to get a lot of pressure. We're probably going to get Hodge into Blinding Light here. We do have Restoral, I believe. 
Yeah. So yeah, we're doing a good job here. I'm trying to look at your where your uh, restore is, but yeah, let me see. I just want to make sure. Yeah, okay. I, I want to make sure I know where it is. Yep. So I see I see restore here. Beautiful, because this is combustion. Beautiful. E one little trick. No, it's not really a trick, but restore does a lot of healing now. Like a lot, a lot of healing. I've seen crits up to 200k. So even even in dampening, like you're only at 10% dampening. So when you're hodged here after this poly, you could and you don't have to. But normally what I'll try to do is I'll kind of wait a little bit just to get a little, just to squeeze out a little more value from the healing from restoral, um, and to prevent any follow up CC. But yeah, this is a fine restoral here. Uh, we also karma the Windwalker karma. Overlaps are bad, but karma, it's it's not terrible. It's it's not terrible. So, you know, they forced our restoral and karma, but that was combustion. This is also wings. So I think overall, it's not bad. The Windwalker does have a port down. We're, we're really hoping he used it this game. Um, blinding light on you. This is fine. This is fine. This is okay. This is, this is good. Um, one thing to note. Wait, I just noticed it. Yes. Uh, one thing to note is right here. Your statue is on the other side of the gate in the middle here that this you're not going to get any value out of the talent that makes it so whoever you're soothing misting or your statue soothing misting you're gonna get less value from it so you want to make sure your statue stays in your line otherwise you're gonna you're kind of gonna miss out on any healing from it so uh, just remember that you could just replace it it's not too bad um great restore here though and blinding light on you which is good we're just missing out on a little bit uh, quite a bit of healing and we're kind of repositioning. Good, good reposition on the port here. We're fall, we're kind of falling behind because of it, but that's okay. Uh, wings. See, this is why I would run disarm first. Rep Hallies. It's a little weird because Peace Reaver is good, but then they also have wings for 20 seconds, so you 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 can disarm it. But that's Bop on the Mage. You still have Poly for half DR. Zen, uh, good, good Chigi here. Really good. The issue is we're gonna have to cast. Yep. That's <laughs> that's the issue. That that is yep. I it's we we're, we're, we're still okay though. Cocoon is fine. Your warrior parries. Good. No overlap here. Rally from your warrior. This is okay. This is th this actually, it looked a little rough, but this is okay because you get polyed, but your Windwalker has Cocoon going and your warrior should be okay. We're hoping you might get Hodge off blinding light on you. This might just be a trinket. We'll see. We do trinket. That's fine. That's fine. We do have Thunder Focus Team Enveloping too. Thunder Focus Team Enveloping. Beautiful. Uh, we want to get some Renewing Mists out as well. Yeah, good. Good. We're doing mist. Careful. Windwalker lines you. Kick on you. Okay. Mage might kick you. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's that's the unfortunate thing. Yeah. I would say the biggest thing I would recommend is Zen Sphere is good. And it, it does get good value when it's up and everything. I would drop it. I, I would drop it. I have started dropping it a few in a few matchups too. Where Zen Focus T is just too good to pass up. And especially if you're playing with two melee. But outside of Zen Focus T... You need to make sure you do have instant healing. So, um, let me just see. Let's see, let's just go to the start here. So we get we got a renewing mist out, which is good, and then they they expire, and we never put renewing mist back up on our teammates. I think for the rest of the game. So what you want to make sure, very important, is renewing mist uh, as many people as possible. Like it's it's crucial. It's very very important. We now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. Maybe we could have incapped a rep pally here. Uh, we could have maybe swept the mage here as well. The mage is kind of stacked on top of us. So, and we do get CS, so we could stun the mage because the mage is almost off Sundiar right now. Mage would be off Sundiar. Incap the red pally, kind of peel for your teammates. But let's just say, you know, that's not that's not an option. You do have some instant healing. So you do have this weak aura right here that shows when you have instant vivify. And this 3.2 seconds, it doesn't matter when you press it. You're still going to have an instant vivify in 3.2 seconds. So right here, in, in exactly one second, you could instant vivify, and then once it goes away, you can instant vivify again. So that's just that's really good instant healing. Renewing mist is also really important for um, for instant healing. And then one note about your positioning: we do get CS'd, and again, getting interrupted is bad. It or it, getting interrupted in a rough situation is bad, but that's okay because we need we, you can take the time while you're kicked to reposition on the map. Ideally, you want to kind of stand by a pillar. So either this pillar or even this wall or even behind here on the corner. You, your team's kind of pushed in. So maybe not over here. But I see that the mage blinks in and then we roll in after the mage, which is not ideal. You could have also kicked this poly as well. So um, 
Just keep that in mind. Really good job keeping Zen Sphere on the mage, though, because you were getting a lot of good value uh, out of Zen Spheres. I don't think the Holy Pilot was dispelling it, which is great. But yeah, we push in on the mage and we get polyed. So that's the issue. Ma monks have really good healing output, but we can't heal when we're stuck in CC outside of Restoral, uh, which is only stunned. So, you know, polymorphs, clones, stuff like that is, is kind of our downfall. And so we want to avoid CC as much as we can. Try to port or put your port behind a pillar or position. Uh, this is a really good spot, by the way, is this gate is really good to position on. You can move around. You can kind of jiggle peek, get some healing out, get your instant vivifies going as well. We do have a pretty good trinket here. I think this is just a trinket. I think right here, whenever I see an overlap like this, after I get CC'd, I think in, I, in, I immediately think to just trinket because you you just got polyed. So you're you're already on poly DR. You just got blinding light and Hodge. So I would immediately just trinket this because you're gonna, you, you know, you're, you already, you're on DR for everything now. Everything is half on you. And then I would trink it into a, we have, well, we, do, we have a few tools here. We, we have Thunder Focus T and Velping Mist here. Yep, good. And then you should also be, you know, be aware you got Thunder Focus T. Um, or you have Renewing Mist for instant healing. And then you also, if you want to, if you're in a really rough situation, you also have another Thunder Focus T and Velping Mist here. So keep that in mind as well. Uh, Mage does have kick though. And yeah, the Windwalker does kind of line you here, which is a little rough. Red Pally kicks you, which is unfortunate. Um, we do get CS'd. I would say, honestly, your healing is your healing isn't terrible. I think you just make sure you prioritize putting renewing mist on on you know at least the person that's taking damage, and play Zen Focus T. Those are the two biggest things I would I would recommend. And then just stay close to a pillar. Just hug a pillar. Make it so whatever caster or melee is on the other team has the worst time trying to CC you. Because the harder you can make it for them, the harder it's going to be for them to get away from your, your teammates, right? If the mage has to blink to poly you, that's one less blink to get away from your melee chasing them. All right, so uh, keep that in mind. Those are the things I would recommend for this one. But overall, not too bad. Just keep that in mind. But yeah, that's that's all I got for this one. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed another VOD review. Are you enjoying these commentaries? If so, let us know what you like and what we should change for the future. And while you're doing that, we want to tell you more about SkillCap.com. We work with the best players in WoW to produce hundreds of website-exclusive guides. And now with a SkillCap membership, you can even get personal support from Rank 1 players in our Ask a Pro forum on Discord. Every season, we help players just like you hit their rating goals, from Rival all the way to Rank 1. So what are you waiting for? Visit the links below to get started on your next PvP journey, which includes a Rank Up guarantee as long as you use the videos on our website. Alright guys, that wraps it up for this one. Thanks for watching. See you soon.